Hey air signs, welcome back to my video. That sounds cliche, but fuck it. Air signs is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this video says this video is going to be um what your person wants you to know, I guess. Not even what your person wants you to know, but what they want to tell you that they don't feel comfortable saying to you. So this can be an ex. This could be about the person you're currently dealing with. It's whoever is on your mind, whether you two are together right now or not. So just keep that in mind. And make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all subscribe because I will be doing a giveaway once I get to a thousand subscribers. All the other giveaways I did was one winner each giveaway, but this giveaway is going to be three winners and each winner is going to have a different prize from the other one. So definitely make sure y'all subscribe. Um, all your individual love readings is already up on my channel, so make sure you check that out. And yeah, I'm about to get started on this reading. I think I said everything I needed to say. Make sure I like this video though. Thank you. So I'm going to pick some signs. We're going to see who you could be dealing with. Keep in mind, this isn't going to resonate for everyone. Um, readings in general, like collective readings, YouTube readings, readings that you see on Twitter or Instagram for the collective. It's not going to resonate for everyone. It's going to resonate for who it's supposed to be meant for. But if it doesn't resonate, don't force it to apply to you. You'll know if it resonates or not you'll be able to feel it you're gonna understand if you don't understand what the fuck this reading is saying then it just isn't for you but anyways i'm gonna close my eyes mix this up a bit and okay that's three yep Alrighty. so the signs that you could be dealing with is a taurus you could be dealing with a taurus a libra or a leo so this reading could be about a Taurus, Libra, or Leo, if you've ever dealt with one or if you're dealing with one now. Let me move my seat back a little. Okay, so what is it that your person, air signs, want to tell you but don't feel comfortable sharing with you? Once again, air signs is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do they want to share with you that they don't feel comfortable sharing with you? I'm also using the Oracle deck that I created, the Mass Feelings Oracle COVID-19 edition. This is the cover right here. Um, you can purchase through the link in my bio. You can book your personal reading through the link in my bio, and you can also purchase healing crystals, healing crystal bracelets, protection bracelets, all that good stuff through the same link. So make sure y'all check that out. But anyways, um, air signs, the person that is on your mind, what do they want to share with you that they don't feel comfortable saying? What is it that they want to share with you? I left before you could hurt me. So this could be someone that you're separated from. You're the one that got away. Okay, these cards is flying out now. These cards are already flying out. I'm trying to make sure that you're able to see each card so you can see how the pictures look. Now, if you're interested in buying this deck, you don't have to be a tarot reader. As you can see, like... You just have to use your intuition. The messages is in here. Just use your intuition on the messages that's being said and even the pictures that's shown. Um, the Oracle deck doesn't come with a guidebook because once again, it's meant to use with your intuition. You can use it independently or you can use it as a clarifier for a tarot deck. But yeah, let me clarify this for you. So I left before you could hurt me. That's self-explanatory. This person walked away from you before you were able to hurt them. Or maybe you already did hurt them, but it's like, okay, let me walk away before they're, they hurt me to no return. Like, they break my heart to no return. Like, they're just like, okay, let me just walk away before it gets worse than what it is now. Or before, you know, I get hurt. You're the one that got away. This person is viewing you as the one who has gotten away in their life. They're viewing you as the one who... um like a missed opportunity the one that got away you know like they're the love of their life basically i wish i can go back in time i see that they wish they can go back in time and change things maybe um prevent their self from leaving or preventing things in general in the connection like i see that they wish they can go back in time and change things once again i wish things were different and our time apart opened my eyes they wish things were different like they wish things were different between y'all and with the time apart open my eyes it's like they wish they can go back in time because now that you two are separated or no longer speaking it's like okay i wished things were different i wish i can go back in time i wish i could change things the distance between us whether it be um emotional distance or physical distance is opening their eyes and making them realize like damn i should have never left or i should have never did the things that i did 
and then it was a test. Your person feels as if this connection itself was a test. Like, not even the connection itself. I feel like they put you through the test. They put you through some type of test, some type of trial, some type of tribulation. And it's like, you failed. You might have failed the test. It's either you might have failed the test or, you know, you peeped the vibes and just things went downhill from there. Like, I just see, matter of fact, let me get some clarifier. Let's see um, if they'll clarify this. Let's see if I can get any clarification on this. Clarification on the it was a test card. Clarification on the it was a test card. Clarification. Yeah, they definitely put you through some type of test. All right, so we have the nine of cups and judgment. It's like they decided like, okay, I'm gonna put this person through some type of test. I feel like this person might have walked away to see if you would chase them. It's like they didn't really want to be single. They didn't really want to be to their self by their self. I feel like they might have walked away. Yes, before you could hurt them, but also to see if you would chase them. See if you would, you know, work hard for their love or work hard to be in their life. It's like, okay, let me walk away from this person. It's sort of like I'm getting the vibe of like a... um if you let them go and they come back, it's meant to be. If you let them go and they don't, then, you know, it isn't meant to be. Like, it's, it's something like that. That's how they viewed it. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to walk away from this person. And if they fight for me, then this is my person. It's meant to be. If they don't, then it isn't. But I see that they regret doing that because, once again, they're viewing you as the one that got away. They wish they didn't really do that, truthfully. But I'm going to pick some charms for y'all. I'm going to pick some charms for y'all. Once again, your individual love reading is already up for all of y'all. Let me close my eyes again. Okay. So I close my eyes. We got the oval. For some of y'all, this is so specific and so random. Um, if you're a male watching this or even a female, I feel like whether you or this person... I feel like the next time they ovulate, this is going to sound so weird. I feel like the next time they ovulate, they're going to reach out to you. We have like, I guess, an egg or oval, whatever, in the banana. I honestly feel like the next time this person ovulates, they're going to call you and they're going to try and smash. It's like they're not even trying to sneak their way back into your life by doing that. But it's like the, the sexual frustrations is going to be so strong for you that they may just end up reaching out to have sex. I feel like that's not gonna happen soon it may happen their next ovulation date like the the very next one or like you know the one after this one whatever the case may be i feel like this person is gonna end up hitting you up trying to smash basically that's the moral of the story and i see that they're going to um how can you say or maybe this is you doing that to them but i feel like they're gonna slowly work up the courage to be like okay i'm gonna hit them up i'm gonna see if they want to have sex with me like that's real specific. I know is it, that part definitely isn't going to resonate for everyone, but you know, this person, they're, they're ready to smash. They miss you sexually, most definitely. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Make sure y'all like. Once again, make sure y'all subscribe. Um, I will be doing a giveaway once I get to a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there. I'm almost there.